Hi everyone, we are at Sea Airspace 2024 in the US. I am on the Boeing booth right now to find out the latest on the MQ-25 program with the Vice President of the program, Troy Rutherford. Troy, good morning. Good morning to you, thanks for having us. Thanks for welcoming me. So what's uh, the latest with the MQ-25 program? Hey, yeah, so uh, big news on the program. We signed a contract with two new airplanes uh, now two weeks ago. Uh, so super excited to move the program into the future. Uh, currently executing on the baseline contract we uh, won in 2018. Uh, we go to flight next year in 25 and initial operating capability for the Navy in 26. So big push for us to get this program delivered to the Navy. Uh, what about uh, at sea testing? Is that a uh, plan in the near future? Yeah, at sea will, testing will happen just before IOC. So in 25 and 26, we'll take this thing to sea um, after first flight and uh, we'll get it out there and get it operational. Troy, can you remind uh, our audience uh, some of the mission sets and the capabilities of the MQ-25? Yeah, so first and foremost, it's about delivering uh, tanker capability. So we've got to put uh, strike fighter capability back with the Super Hornets, get it out there for the Navy, and, and backfill them on the tanker mission. So uh, primary mission for MQ-25 is to extend the air wing of the future uh, in range to get it out there and hit refueling missions. So that's a U.S. Navy program of record. Uh, are any of the U.S. Uh, allied and partners showing interest uh, in this? Uh, I know a number of uh, navies are looking at uh, emails for to upgrade their existing carriers. Uh, the French are working on a future carrier program with yep. emails. Yeah, so uh, lots of international partners interested. We're working with NIPO and, and uh, ability to go out there and actually uh, uh, exchange information uh, with with the foreign military sales partners. So anybody that's got a carrier and has a has a catapult launch with emails or looking in the future, MQ-25 is absolutely there. But it's also land-based, so we see a lot of benefit going out to uh, uh, partner nations that have uh, runways that will support uh, and just need long-range tanking or secondary ISR mission. Troy, you're also showcasing this uh, interesting uh, model of MQ-25 uh, fitted with uh, different payloads. Do they look like uh, JASM or LORASM missiles? Yeah, so these are LORASMs. Obviously, uh, the airplane itself was built off our uh, an unmanned ISR and strike platform. When the Navy pivoted to tanker, um, it still has the full mission capability um, uh, growth potential of going into other missions. So uh, airplane's ready whenever the Navy chooses a future mission for it, but tanker is absolutely our primary mission. Um, and then as we look at future uh, budgeting cycles and where they want to go, airplane's here to support with the size, weight, and power. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.